Joining us now is Mr. William Cronin. He is president of the American Historical Association. Uh, Bill, thanks so much for being here with us Great today. Great to be here. Thanks for doing uh, this. First day of the conference. Let's talk about uh, what you're most looking forward to this year. Well, it's great to be here in New Orleans. There is really no more historic city in the United States than this, and there is no other city that has this set of histories. So one of my goals was to make sure that we got people out of the conference, out into the city. I think we have the best set of field trips HA has ever had at this conference. Absolutely, I know you are gonna have a great time. Yeah. Uh, some of the major themes at this year's conference, talk about that. Well, the theme we chose for the conference is lives, places, stories. I'm an environmental historian, which means I look at people's interactions with the larger world and those themes, looking at lives, not just human lives, all places and how we tell stories about them, how we make sense of the world through storytelling is really my big theme for this conference. Yeah, and so the goals, the, the things that you really want people uh, to take away with them uh, when they leave the conference and, and go back home. Well, the other theme of this conference is the title of our plenary tonight is the public practice of history in and for a digital age. So all the ways in which the digital revolution is changing the way we do our work, not just research, but how we get our message out to the world, how we tell stories digitally, and all the ways we tell stories to make sense of the world. And, and give us a preview of what, what you think the, the major highlights of the AHA conference uh, 2013 are gonna be. Well, it's always about people getting together and reconnecting with colleagues, reconnecting with old friends. So that part of the conference happens every year. I think what's different this year is thinking about new ways of accomplishing that connection among people. And finally, what are your proudest accomplishments of, of this year? Well, I would say that the organization itself is undergoing a revolution. Uh, we really need to rethink how historians communicate with each other, and we want the AHA, which has always played that role, this has always been the most important gathering place. More and more of that now has to happen through social media, through websites, all of that. All right, Mr. Bill Cronin, thank you so much. President of the American Historical Association, we appreciate your time today. Good to be here, Have thanks. Have a great time in New Orleans. Thanks a lot.